Um, but, but that sounds nice, doesn't it? Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, the delivery truck came and we got some stuff. Uh, one thing that I want to tell you about is this book, uh, the Luthier's Handbook by Simonov. Simonov, Roger Simonov. Um, if you're really, really into building, get this book. Um, it's got pictures, which is why it keeps me interested. Um, but he goes into a lot of what we would call rationale. Um, there are a lot of people and a lot of websites and a lot of books that will say, you need to use maple because we've always used maple or mahogany or rosewood or blah, 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 blah. But they don't ever really tell you why other than we always have used it. And this goes a little more into that, um, exhaustive at some points. Um, so, um, and I'm, what am I, I'm on the, I'm on tuning the assembly is what I'm on right now. Um, good book, um, not very expensive. I mean, it lists for 25 bucks, but you can pick them up used for less than that. And we'll add that to the library. Um, uh, this, will be fun because it's not what I thought it was. It's a stupid Studio Ghibli movie. Stumac has got a thing called Stumax. See Stu Max or Stu Max, um, which my lovely wife gifted me with um, this Christmas. Um, and Stu Max is a yearly deal, and what that yearly deal allows you to do is to get free shipping for a year. Um, I like free shipping. So, um, yeah, free shipping, it's $35 a year. Um, I have gotten two orders and have already made my $35 up. So I'm not making money, but I'm not spending any more money after this. Um, the other thing it allows you to do is it allows you to, um, you get a 50%, 50% discount on educational materials such as DVDs and books and plans. So there's some really good books there and um, I, I think that's a worthwhile thing. It's worth $35 to me to save $150 on um, some of the stuff that they have, some of the bigger, the bigger DVD sets. Uh, anyways, let's see what we got here. I tried and tried and tried to make one of these to no avail. And so I broke down and bought one. And it was, it was actually, it was like 20, I think it was 20, well, let's look here. $21.90 is what it was. Um, it's not bad. Not bad. So you've got kind of a narrowish and you've got kind of a widish slot on it. Uh, depending on what type of brace you're trying to put it on. And then instead of having to do the little pull thing with the string, um, we've got a knurled brass body here. So it's easier once you get it in to kind of start twisting it. So we'll see how this works. Um, 
I want to say they were more than this at one time. I want to say they were like 26 bucks and I balked at it. Um, but we'll see. All right. More noise. <sighs> Getting a uh, getting optimistic on a couple of guitars here. Classical guitar strings with ball pins, nylon strings. I got one of these dealios, which kills me because we had something very similar to this in surgery for ages. Um, in fact, a uh, long time ago, when I first started nursing, um, we were not too far removed from the era where you uh, washed your syringes, which is kind of gross. Um, but anyways, that comes with, that comes with, I, I got the kit, which comes with the 10cc syringe, and it comes with three different packs of blunt tip needles. Now, one of these needle tips, probably this, rose colored one. Um, we're gonna see if we can adapt that for use in steaming neck joints. It's a little short, but uh, uh, the needle that a certain place wants is, I mean, it's crazy, it's like 20 something bucks. So we're gonna, we're gonna look until we find an alternative that we like. I think this will help when we're trying to get some get some glue into certain joints and joint areas and cracks and stuff like that. So we'll see. Um, and I also got the replacement O-ring because I learned when you order something and they offer you a spare part, order the spare part. And then I got four little headstock screws. And I'm being really optimistic, and I got a piece of um, Mother of Pearl. So um, the Carl Fisher guitar, um, we can reconstruct one of the little crescent moon inlays and get that back in there. So that's what the mail guy brought. I'm really bummed because I thought that stupid DVD was going to be my endoscope. Well, we'll see. All right, that's the mailbag. Um, hey, you guys have a good one. Cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.